Bruce Chapman asked me a very interesting question. He wanted to know whether the brake pedals on the Tesla actually caused regen to take effect. We all know that when we let go of the power pedal, the regen kicks in immediately, but when you then go press your foot on the brake pedal, will it uh, cause additional regen to slow the car down and generate power? So the Chevy Volt seems to have different modes for regen, similar to the Tesla with the low and standard regen. However, the brake pedal on the Volt, Bruce explains, actually does additional regen to slow the car down and generate power. And then they even have a paddle, he said, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel that can even uh, give you an additional uh, regen and braking, uh, all to uh, lessen the use of the brake pads. So I have standard regen on, and if I speed up and let go of the power pedal, you can see I get a massive amount of regen. If I turn it on to low, speed up and let go, you only get about a little over an inch to the left uh, when you let go of the power pedal. And when I do it again, then press the brake, you don't get more uh, regen. So that sort of shows that the um, brake pedal does not, confirms the brake pedal does not give you additional regen in uh, low mode. But in low mode, under autopilot, we did see more regen than I can get manually here just by letting go of the power pedal. So I just turned on uh, low regen braking, and I'm curious whether uh, autopilot or nav on autopilot um, regens in full when it needs to in a, uh, a hard braking situation. Because um, when you're manually driving in low regen, the uh, green line there, which shows the regen, does not go more than about an inch to the left. So I'm just uh, in a traffic jam here. Hopefully we'll come to an abrupt stop at some point, which will cause it to regen a lot. Um, let's see. I'll just watch it. There we go, yep. So you get the full regen in autopilot when you even have a low setting. So if I switch it to standard now, or no, let me go to low and go out, I'm gonna pop out of autopilot and take off cruise. And I will speed up and then let go. Notice it's full. Um, I am okay, so I'm going to speed up and then let go of the power pedal, and that's as far as it goes. Um, and if I touch the brake now, it doesn't add to. So that's also interesting. In low setting, when I'm manually driving, one, your regen is only like an inch to the left. Press the brake, which I'm pressing right now. Uh, you don't get any more regen um, than that inch to the left. Let me see if I can show you that again. So I'll get some distance here. Speed up, let go, press the brake, and it just stays at the same regen. Supposedly the Volt, uh, when you press the brake, the brake press causes additional regen to slow you down uh, before it actually uses the brake pedal. I guess the Tesla brake is just tied directly to the brake pads. So go on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. 
If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.